Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to start modding in Minecraft. Yes, this is no joke. Um, I have been, I have modded before. Nothing really special, just minor mods that I made myself. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it with Minecraft Forge also installed. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go to all these web pages and download each of them. This one, depending on what, um... OS you have, I have Windows 64 bit, you click this button, download, you'll get a link, or get a link, you'll get a download, it'll be an application, install it, here, files of minecraft.net, you're going to want to go here, go to recommended, then press source, you're going to get a little file here, it's going to be, oh, move that out of the way, you're going to get this Minecraft Forge source. Then, you're going to want to also have this Linux, Linux? Wow, I'm really messed up. Get to this Java page. You're going to need JDK. Again, here you just pick your um, OS. But, you also have, before this page, there is a, you have to go here. Go, t well, I'm going to leave it here to you guys. You're going to go download then you're gonna click this button that says do you agree when it comes up when it comes up you're gonna accept license agreement and then pick your thing and it will download I do have this downloaded this is the only thing I'm well never mind just listen don't listen to that then you're gonna want to download this MP MPC totally the MPC MCP 751 zip or if you're watching this at a later time it will be probably higher than that download that with this button last thing you're going to want to download is in at the minecraft website minecraft.net slash download you're going to want to go to minecraft you're going to blah, 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 blah. come here go down to the bottom minecraft underscore server dot jar click that download it it's all going to be good you're going uh, to want to install the um, Eclipse, and I will sh show you real quickly how to download or install Java. Um, I did download this. I have had it downloaded before, but I'm updating it just in case. I don't know if I need it updated, but let's check. Next. Next. I have already read this stuff. Ooh. Hi, bud. Whether it takes a while or not, that'll be different. And my luck, I'm going to have to download something. While that's going on, and downloading or whatever it's doing, you're going to want to go to your desktop or wherever you had these folders. Um, depending on how you want to do it, you're going to want to go where you want to keep your mod folder. Then right-click, New folder. Then, you're going to want to open this MPC, M oh my goodness, MCP, and drag it into that folder. And then you have a folder that kind of looks like this. Sounds good. You can close out of this. Open up Minecraft Forge. Same deal, except there's only one file here. Go down here. Put it in your folder. Name it MCP or whatever you want to name it. This one, I believe, is a little bigger than the last one, but it's still short and. Wow. Oh, I'm lagging because of this. Close this. Exit. <laughs> I'll get back to that in a second. Um, can name this MCP. 
That's what I name it. Not NCO. MCP. There we go. And then you have another forge file in here. Exit out of this. For now. Here. Install it at the default position. Next. And you will be. It will be. Unpacking everything. And I shall be back when this is done. Or almost done. Like right now. That was rather quickly. Oh goodness, it's going to go over and over and over again, is it not? But whatever, that's what I came here for. Oh, while we're at it, um, go to your Minecraft folder. You need to... Um, already did this, but uh, you're going to want to load up Minecraft... Load up Minecraft. Load up Minecraft. If it wants to load up, you know, sometimes it doesn't have to load up. But you do need this to load up. And you're gonna wanna force update it so that you get a clean, clean files from your Minecraft. Um, you're going to want to press yes and restart, but I will restart later because this is not going to affect me whatsoever. Because I'm actually not doing anything with it. Go to options when you get to the launcher. Force update. I'm not doing this right now. Then press login. You'll go through a series of downloads. And as soon as that's done, you can exit. And why do I have two things open? I don't know. Force update. As soon as it's done downloading, exit. Then you're all good. Close. Alright. Now that you have Java downloaded and your Minecraft undone, if you're in Windows 7, go down here, percent app data, percent, then press enter. Go to Minecraft, then get, copy your bin and resources folder. Control C or right click copy. I, I suggest Control C because it's easy to remember. Then go to jars and press Control V. It'll take a minute or so. It won't take me crazy long, but it'll take me a second. Um, then also, while that's doing that, back on your desktop, you have the Minecraft underscore server and go back into your jars folder and put this in. Yeah easy and while that is loading you're gonna wanna go to your start right click computer properties advanced system settings environment variables then come down here to the second box and if you don't have a path thing which I do um, it has to be all capital if I am correct but let's just check it here. And no, it, it works in this path. But if you have to, go to new, or if you have this path, edit, then go all the way to the right, and leave it there. Go to start menu, menu computer, local disk, program files, Java, JDK, 1.7.0 underscore 21, go to bin, copy and paste this. And then, since you're at the end of this, you're going to want to go semicolon, and I believe there's a space, let me just, no, no space, just control V. then press OK. But I'm just quickly gonna get out of that one because I do already have it installed. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, I hate this when this does this. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, and if you already have a system variable for JDK, you're going to want to delete it like I am. Ben. Wait, what? Oh, crap. <laughs> Oh, there we go. To see. There. Now it's all good. Most likely you will not have anything like that. Then press OK. Press OK. Exit. Go to Forge. And install. Now this will take a while. Hmm. Unless something like that happens. Which there's a chance that it will. Like mine just did. Did I forget something now, Ben? No. Oh, and just to make sure you have it, put Java C. If it, if it works, it's all good. You can also go to command prompt, Java C. If it works, you have all the stuff, and that means you did that one thing right. Which is good. Just, yeah. Okay, Forge. Go to install. I don't believe you have to do this, but if you want. Nope. Install. There we go. Sorry, just had to run it again. That should not happen to you. Already have MCP installed, so it was probably thinking, you're so stupid, why are you downloading again? but I'm doing it for you guys. This will take a long, long time. So I will come back when it's done. Be right back, guys. It won't take long. It'll just be a second for you guys. Alright, guys. I'm back. Um, I did not stay on the install thing. Sorry about that. I pressed the button a little too early before I got on here. Whoops. But now, if you go back to your main folder, you will see that you have all these new things. But, you're not done yet. You can, for say, be able to get into the source files and do stuff with them. But, I wouldn't suggest it just yet. So, you have this all set up. And remember before, I told you to download the... Eclipse from here installed it and everything I am giving the exact version that I have um, I do not know if it's updated or not I use the forget what it is I'll see in a few seconds but you're gonna want to start up Eclipse it's gonna take a while for the first time you get up uh, you're gonna get a message I'm not gonna get this message I do not believe so but I will show you this message as soon as mine hurries up. Alright, um, now you will not get this screen. You'll get a screen like this. It'll be over that little icon in the background. But what you're going to want to do, you're going to go to Browse and go to your desktop if that's where you put it. And it doesn't seem to want to go to desktop. So go to your name. Down, Not downloads. Desktop. It's up one. Go to MCP. Then click on Eclipse. Press OK. Okay. And it's going to generate some stuff. It's going to go back to this thing. It's going to take another minute or so. It's going to be going all this stuff up. It's going to be doing all good and that kind of stuff. You buy. And here you go. It'll come up. You have this thing on the left hand side of Minecraft. Then you have all these files and you have no idea what to do. And if you want to know, 
Well, gonna have to wait for the next video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, guys. This has been ATATCC. Now I'm signing out. Too tired. So, peace.